any market you're in, if you have the opportunity to buy a side-by-side -side duplex over a traditional up-down duplex, you got to take that opportunity, boy. I was like, whoa, hold up. Yeah. What's this? And then he never responded. I told him about, yeah, it's long appreciate you thank you so much at the next uh you know lease renewal right it's columbus okay it's ohio red state all you got to do is give tenants a 30-day notice once their lease expires we got a few months left on the tenants leases here you give them a 30-day notice that's all you got to do and you can increase the rent Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to be giving it to you straight. Cash flow and appreciation, y'all. That's what you get when you go with Ohio's number one growth market, Columbus, baby. Check this one out. 1269 East 23rd, Columbus, Ohio. Coming to you guys at 249.9, fully occupied duplex, all right? 1200 bucks each unit, right? It's bringing it 2400. But to be honest with you, that's honestly a little bit lower uh, than it could be, man. It's 2023. In 2023, dude, housing in Columbus is through the roof. Rents are skyrocketing. And you know what happened when those interest rates went up, y'all? Well, guess what? They made rent go up even higher. Honestly, at the next uh you know, lease renewal, right? It's Columbus, okay? It's Ohio, red state. All you got to do is give tenants a 30-day notice once their lease expires. We got a few months left on the tenant's leases here. You give them a 30-day notice, that's all you got to do, and you can increase the rent, right? It ain't crazy like Portland. It ain't out of control like California, right? Nice 30-day notice. I don't know what you got to do in those batshit crazy states and markets, probably like freaking Portland. You probably got to give them like a fucking 25-year notice and fucking they got to be able to take your daughter on a date or something. I don't know. It's fucking nuts out there. But here in Ohio, you know, we have property rights, okay? It's a red state, red to win, y'all. Now, I know there's like a little bit of debate out there. People are like, oh, why y'all talk about politics? Look, man, whether you're blue, whether you're red, it don't fucking matter to me. But I'll tell you what, if you're trying to run a property management business, you're trying to run a rental property portfolio, guys, uh, you want to be in an area that's got some red to it, okay? Because typically the more blue it is, the more anti-landlord legislation uh, hurdles, things are going to be in place, right? So when you're in a place like Ohio, you get, uh, you know, you get the ability to evict people if they don't pay rent, and of course, you get the ability to increase rents uh, within a reasonable amount of time, right? So, 30 days, I would suggest you give them a 30 day notice. We increase that rent up, right? I think you'd be able to get 1375 each of these units, man. So, when it's all you know flushed out, when all the dust is settled, you'll be bringing in two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars a month uh, for this thing, right? well above the 1% rule, and you're in a growth market, right? For like the entire state of Ohio, right? People are out there looking for 1% properties in Toledo, Akron, Cleveland, Youngstown, Cincinnati, Dayton, okay? They're looking for those metrics in all of those Ohio markets. Well, guess what? None of those Ohio markets have the long-term appreciation projections that Columbus does. None of those have a job outlook like Columbus. None of those have population trends like the Columbus market. Hell, none of those markets are even as big as the Columbus market, right? We got the freaking new chip factory coming in. You got Ohio State. I mean, dude, we got Mikey Mike DeWine just chilling up in this area. It's where it's at, okay? So the fact that you can get those type of numbers and have these type of long-term uh, projections and, and, like, just outlook, right? This thing is a freaking slam dunk. Not to mention just the actual building itself, y'all. It's my favorite type of multifamily property, okay? Any market you're in, if you have the opportunity to buy a side-by-side -side duplex over a traditional up-down duplex, you got to take that opportunity, boy, because... Those up-down duplexes, man, the tenants, they fight. They fight over noise. They got to share the same laundry area, the same storage area. That causes issues. When your tenants have issues, folks, that directly translates 
to your vacancy, okay? They move in and out much more frequently when they're fighting like cats and dogs, okay? You get these side-by-side -side units, they get their own basement, their own laundry area, right? The noise is not as big of an issue, right? They have multiple floors, so it feels like a house. So they stay longer, and you make more money because you're not fixing up the unit for a new tenant. You're not paying leasing fees. You're not doing this. You're not doing that, right? So if you have the opportunity to get a side-by-side you always want to take advantage, right? And they typically pay more rent, okay? But the rent uh, increase from like a side-by-side -side to an up-down is not as important as their satisfaction and them staying in the units longer because you'll make up uh, so much more profit just by the fact that you're not turning your tenants over is awesome, right? So anyway, you slice it, man. I dig this property both for the short and long term. If you want to buy this bad boy, send an email to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. Include your pre-approval letter or your proof of funds, right? You're paying cash. I need to see the money in your bank account. You're financing it? Great. I need to see that you're approved with a lender. You don't have a lender? Don't you worry. Just let me know, man. I will hook you up with the lender. I've sold over $200 million worth of Ohio real estate to investors all over the world. Folks in Ohio, folks in California, folks in Portland, folks in Florida, New York, out of the country, Canada, Singapore, the UK, you name it. We've done a lot of business over the last 10, 15 years here, and um, we have built a Rolodex, a massive network uh, of lenders that are looking for investors just like you, whether you're foreign nationals, out-of-state investors, or local investors. They have a lot of loan products uh, for folks like you guys, and I have that all for you, right? So you'll get my whole career's worth of networking all in one easy to digest list and then at that point after you get pre-approved through one of them let me know send that to me with your offer sales at holtonweiss.com let's go protecting her mom oh you're okay she's covered she can't even see you oh okay oh yeah you got the ball I try to keep up on the property, so it's not. It looks wonderful. Know, I don't like a dirty house. Well, I appreciate it. Cluttered, maybe a little bit. Not, not dirty. I don't be dirty. Right. Yeah, there's a dramatic difference between cluttered and filthy. Yeah. Right, exactly. And, uh, my grandkids know I will filthy their ass. God, I saw a walk-in closet. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for your You're time, hon. Is Garrett up there? He is. He's He'll still be outside. out there for a little while. Okay. Because um, we still have to get next door, too, so he'll be out there for at least in that 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Well, let me run up there now. Right. Shut up, Chicha. Goodbye, Chicha. Bye. We're friendly and sweet here. Oh, there's a kid over there. Yeah. <laughs> Team Cat all the time. Forever and ever. Team Cat World. Cats are better than dogs. It's like, whoa, hold up. Yeah. What's okay. this? And then he never responded. I told him about, yeah, his mom's taking care of it. I told him about the animals that were in the roof. Goddamn roof animals. I just accidentally shut the gimbal off. Oh, uh, sorry. We're ready uh, okay, for it. Okay, good. Her, your mom ain't here yet, so you guys got. I'm talking to her right now. She's not here yet. Oh, no, I'm here. I'm moved. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Given them notice and never two adults here. Hmm? 
So it doesn't matter how old he is. He gave him no attention to adults. This one, I think? Maybe this one? Oh, good guess, dude! Lone Rider. Where is he? Caught in the spider trap. You sure he didn't just suicide himself? Suicide by a spider? Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't use that. <coughs> Don't use the same rail, it's fucked. Oh! Cool, same layout. Different type, type of furnace, though. We're two minutes in, we're done with half the house already. Alright. <laughs> Make sure not. Be gone in a heartbeat. Tang. Hey, the lady next door working. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. I had been speaking. I was like, "Damn, it's a fucking ghost." Stopper. Is it this room? I didn't do this room, yeah. I can barely get in this room. Oh, thank God. Just the closet? Thought it was attic access. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.